Hey guys, it's Daps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me again in this tutorial. I want to show you how you can literally clone any website out there. You can edit that website and you can have that website live in just two super simple steps. Just as you can see on my screen here is Figma.com. Figma is a design platform for UI designer and developers to build amazing stuff. Website, apps, name it. Uh, so we're going to be using figma to get this done real quick so for the purpose of this example let's say we want to clone wordpress.org this is strictly for tutorial purpose i'm not encouraging you to clone any website or to clone wordpress.com so with that being said we can come back to figma in your case here you might need to just hit this guest added button for free create a free account on figma i have an account here and I'm already logged in. So once you create an account, you can just start a new design. Now that we are inside of Figma literally for free, we will need the help of two plugins to get this done. And that's just it in two super easy steps. So the first one is to install a plugin called HTML to design. So if you come here, if I come to plugins here, I will see this plugin here called HTML to design. In your case, if you have not used this plugin before, you might find this place empty. Just come to manage plugins and here you can just search for HTML to design. But because I have used it before, I have this plugin here. So I'll launch it. I can just come up here and then pick my URL, WordPress.org, and then come back here. I have HTML to design here. It's a freemium plugin. You can use this for free. Uh, you can use it up to 15 times uh, for free in a month. And if you want to use it far more than that, you can go pro. I have a pro version here, but the free is enough for this example. So we're going to plug in our URL here. So you have options here for you to edit your viewpoint. So you can choose whatever viewpoint you want to clone, whether it is a desktop, laptop, tablet, tablet, or mobile version. But I'll leave this as is, and then I'll hit the import button. And then you can see that this plugin is literally trying to clone that web page so we have a prompt here it says we have 11 high resolution images but because i have the pro version i'll be able to turn this on as a pro feature for you to be able to download high resolution image so you might not be able to do this if you're using the free version but the images you get even with the free is high quality enough for your website so auto layout is very important i'm going to turn this on and Adding these hyperlinks help us retain the links on the pages. So I want to leave this and then I'll hit the go button. Right now we have this page already in our Figma. But before we continue, I just want us to add one more page. Let's say we want to clone uh, the about page. Let's come to about WordPress. Let's see what the page looks like. This is exactly what it looks like. Super beautiful. So let's copy the URL. And let's come back here. Let's try to do that URL too as well. So let's work with two pages. And let's hit the import button. Great. So we have that too done. So now we can close this plugin. And then I can just come up here. And then I can just zoom this to fit. So I want to see all the design I have. So this is fantastic. So we have our home page here and we have our about page here. So for us to be able to see this more clearly, we can just zoom in. Our control plus plus button should be able to zoom in. Then minus should be able to zoom out again for you to see exactly what you have in your design. And I think this is beautiful. I can zoom in a little more for me to see this. So this is it literally the same page we have on wordpress.org we now have here inside our feed. we can make edit inside of figma to our page is super simple you just need to click anything you want to edit and change the text change the images i can zoom in properly into this and instead of meet wordpress i can just click this so i can change this from wordpress i can just say meet tabs and that's how super easy it is for you to change uh things so that's super easy to do, right? You can change every element here is clickable. You can click this. You can uh, change the text, change it to whatever you want to. Everywhere you can change everything. Uh, the images here as well, you can change the image. You can just click this and then you can replace this image. And I believe this is super simple and easy to do. So you can just go around, change text and change images here and there. 
if you are very new to figma i think i will do more figma tutorials on this channel i will create a playlist that to teach people the basics of figma now you can easily design stuff inside of figma so if you're excited about figma you want to learn a thing or two on figma you should consider subscribing to this youtube channel and that's it uh, for this right now so i can just zoom this to feedback for me to see exactly what I let's see how we can publish these pages so right now we'll use the help of another plugin so if we come down here we'll come to plugin i'll be using another plugin here called figma to website this plugin is also literally free for you to use but it has some limitations on the free i'm using the free version right now and in my subsequent tutorials i will definitely be exploring more of the pro future so right now uh i because i have published a page before so i have this url here so right now i can just come back to uh this uh frame here i can click this just come up click this and once we click this we can come to this plugin here and then add a page so you can see this is already highlighted here now as home we can preview this if we want but we're gonna do that eventually so now let's come to the second frame too as well let's click this just clicking the title here this wordpress here where i like the frame and then i can then add a web page so you can see i have that here as well uh, so that's beautiful so right now you can just hit this preview button for you to see exactly what you are about to publish and now we can confirm that we have the same page as the wordpress.org page so right now we can just close this and then what we have to do is to hit this publish button and then this would publish this website on this subdomain if you are using this for the very first time it will redirect you to a new page it will tell you to sign in first so you have to put in your email address then it will send you a link you need to confirm that email address then come back here hit the publish button again so as you can see here our publishing is almost done and our site is deploying already so we're going to give this a few more seconds to finish up so congratulations our website has been published so we can open this up to see exactly what we have so just like that we have our, our website here and i think this is beautiful so you can check through to see that everything has been cloned super beautiful and amazing uh the sad reality about this is that this is loading on a subdomain that we don't own or have control over and there's this watermark here that says made with figma to website uh for us to be able to take this away we might need to pay a little uh so we can close this and then you can see this is level zero we can upgrade all plans here comes with unlimited visitor unlimited bandwidth global cdn se optimization google front support custom 404 pages so at the free level this is everything we have so we have this domain here uh, 100 images 10 pages one redirect and then if we upgrade to level one which is five dollars per month we can do up to 10 pages uh, 100 images two custom domain names that we can use we have 10 redirects that we can take away this badge made with figma to website uh, away from the page and so just with five dollars per month if you upgrade you should be able to have more awesome stuff and i say a lot of things here from the general you can check so you can set your favicon here you can so coming to hosting here we can see that this website is hosted with figma to website and it is powered by cloudflare so you can imagine the speed uh, they are still contemplating on custom hosting so if you click this it will tell you to suggest where you want them to publish your website to i don't really know what they want to do with the custom hosting i'm still experimenting watching to see exactly what they would do so here we can rename our url doesn't really make sense anyway doing that uh, so we need to upgrade to use a custom domain like i told you so here we can set a redirect we can set a front we can go to our plans here and upgrade we can add our social media links we can do our seo from here our performance of the website we can check our custom code uh, to the header and to the body of the page and then also for cms this content management system is coming soon i'm really excited to see what content management system uh this plugin support if this plugin support wordpress literally i will be their number one fan so that's it i am excited i'm waiting so it's a new uh, plugin is coming up so let's see what they are able to do 
uh, you can click here and if you're watching this video and you're experimenting with this plugin you can come here either in the cms and suggest to them what cms you want them to work with so you can do that here and that's it to it and the last thing here is the danger you can unpublish this website in case you don't want it and that's super easy right uh so let's come back here that's it about cloning your website and publishing them live that's it that's my time for this tutorial i believe you've seen how super simple and easy it is for you to clone a website with the click of a button and then you can customize edit it and then you can publish it live literally for free if you find this video super useful for you give me a thumbs up if you have any issues you have any questions let me know in the comment section i'll look out for them i'll see you in another tutorial subscribe so that you don't miss out on those tutorials i'll see you soon bye for now